Tsukuba Plant Innovation Research Center, TPERC. The University of Tsukuba has launched the Tsukuba Plant Innovation Research Center, TPERC, in April 2017. The center aims to support research and development on food and eco securities. TPERC has outstanding combinations of research and development units. We are pioneering research advancements in a coherent and synergic system with Gene Research Division, Smart and Sustainable Agriculture Research Division, Genetic Resources and International Collaborative Research Division, Integrated Omics Analysis Division, Collaborative Research Division, Corporate Social Partnership Unit, and Research and Education Support Unit. We are surrounded by a wide variety of plants. However, do you know that such plants are not only used in our daily lives as food and clothing, but also as materials for developing energy resources, medicine, and other high-value-added products? In 2017, the University of Tsukuba established a new research center, the Tsukuba Plant Innovation Research Center, based on the belief that improving the quantity and quality of such plants will change our future society. The center has various divisions to conduct basic and applied research on plants, as well as research for social implementation all in one place. Under such a research system, the center has succeeded in developing the world's first genome-edited tomato. We have also established a venture company to decimate new technologies for smart agriculture. We have been decimating various research results to the world since our establishment. The Gene Research Division was founded in 1984 for plant science and plant biotechnology research. The center focuses on the function and structure of plant genes, its regulation mechanisms, and the promotion of its applicable uses. One of the challenges from the bioresources area is to collect and evaluate various plant resources to ensure high productivity. Evaluation, for example, cannot be done just by looking at this. We will conduct research using advanced research facilities at the university to analyze this by genome analysis or metabolome analysis. That is one major stream, and the other is genetic modification operations and genome editing. We perform these genetic manipulations in safety cabinets and clean benches, grow plants under culture conditions, and study their functions in order to connect them to society. Ultimately, the university does not commercialize the product, but on the other hand, our mission is to conduct applied research with private companies so that these products can be used in society. Plant Transgenic Design Initiative is operated by six groups, from basic and applied research to information transmission. Every year, they conduct about 40 collaborative researches with institutions from in and outside of Japan. The research teams, new knowledge and new technologies nurtured through collaborative research here have expanded to larger R&D projects and are being contributed to practical applications. There are high expectations for this center to explore further innovation and lead as frontiers.
In 2018, we have established the Plant Science Core Alliance to promote collaboration with five universities that are recognized in Japan as joint usage research centers for plant science research. Based on the Convention on Biological Diversity and the Nagoya Protocol and FAO International Treaty on Plant Genetic Resources for Food and Agriculture, we collect, preserve, and provide various genetic resources as well as offer support to access genetic resources from overseas. In the National Bioresource Project, this division acts as a tomato bioresource hub that preserves and distributes a total of about 20,000 mutation population of tomato microtom. We are actively working to support for launching the international collaborative research projects with external funds from overseas and promoting model researches in compliance with international law. The Integrated Omics Analysis Division mainly specializes in metabolomics analysis using high-performance spectrometers. Through the integration of omics analysis and bioinformatics, we aim to uncover key factors responsible for metabolic regulations contributing to the growth and metabolite production in plants. Research in applied science include revealing useful metabolites involved in the tastes and flavors of utility plants and foods. Furthermore, this division designs separation and analytical methods for chemical compounds on demand. The Smart and Sustainable Agriculture Research Division uses a 34-hectare farm to promote cutting-edge field research in food crops, vegetables, fruit trees, livestock, and advanced agriculture machineries to increase agricultural productivity. Many of these studies receive state and corporate funding with the goal of promptly putting research into practical use. Food crop research includes rice, soybean, and buckwheat. Since 1978, we have been conducting tests that continue to grow the same crop in the same place without changing the composition or the amount of fertilizer for more than 40 years. This is a valuable research field for sustainable crop production. For vegetables, we are working to develop new tomato cultivation technology using advanced environmental controls, labor-saving technology using AI and robots, and varieties of high-quality melon. For fruit trees, in addition to the development of labor-saving cultivation techniques for pears, we are conducting research on aroma components, which is one of the factors that affect fruit quality. Regarding livestock, various studies are being conducted on cattle and chickens. Research on cattle is focused at producing high-quality red meat through health management using wearable devices. Research on chickens is also concentrated to improve productivity in the poultry sectors. For agriculture machinery, research on smart agriculture has been conducted to reduce labor, secure agricultural work, and to work towards precision agriculture to reduce environmental impacts. In addition, we are currently working on the development of automatic operation technology for advanced agriculture machines in fields and orchards. There is also ongoing research on drone use for the development of aerial sensing system to monitor crop and orchard production. TPERC aims to establish a space-sharing collaborative research system among industry, government, and academia, 
by taking advantage of Tsukuba's location where the world's most advanced research institutions come together. Our center has been leading major projects for Japanese government organizations that include research and development on crop breeding using genome editing technology and precision agriculture utilizing AI and robotics. In our special collaborative research projects, we employ professors and conduct joint research funded by companies. In order to promote these activities, we are constructing facilities such as the T-Perk Industrial Zone, research buildings, greenhouses, and experimental farms. It is expected that this section will be utilized as a base for creating innovations originating from t perk and for quickly linking the results of competitive R&D to social implementation. t perk resources are used to support agricultural research activities and educational activities for students from the University of Tsukuba. The facility is also being used as a place for educational activities for teachers, local junior, middle, and high school students. Furthermore, in order to provide the general public with the opportunity to deepen their understanding of the state-of-the-art plant science research conducted by t -Perk, we are actively engaged in various seminars and events to raise awareness in the society. In addition, we are putting efforts into working together with the community by collecting and preserving valuable genetic resources and selling our agricultural products at the local supermarkets. t -Perk aims to become an important pioneering research center in the world for plant science with the vision to promptly put our research into practical use. We will continue to promote exchanges and collaborations in a wider range of fields with diversity from different countries and regions across organizational and business boundaries.